CEO of the London Stock Exchange Group. And he joins me here, right here at the SGX. It's so good to see you, David. Good morning, bright and early. Uh, give me your sense about how you're seeing the budget really have an impact on how businesses are, uh, are you know, going about their ways in the United Kingdom. I think the key thing is stability uh, and a restoration of confidence uh, in the UK market, in the UK government. So we'll see, yes, we'll see some rises in taxes. We'll see some spending cuts from uh, the Chancellor's statement a little bit later today. But I think there's a lot more comfort and confidence in terms of the direction of the government now. There is, there is. Uh, but what about uh, the budget gap of 50 to $60 billion? You think they would be able to do much to, to kind of fill the gap? I think they'll address it over time. I don't think it's, it's an easy fix. We're seeing this in governments all over the world where there's been a lot of spending to deal with the pandemic and some, some real economic challenges. But uh, I think they'll address it over time. Uh, you know, David, you deal with businesses coming to the market, right? And business confidence in the United Kingdom has uh, fallen to its lowest level in 13 years, one three. Uh, and so I want to get a sense on what that means for, your, for the IPO pipeline, what that means for fundraising, what that means for, uh, you know, businesses planning to actually, uh, you know, list I I in the region. So we actually have a healthy IPO pipeline. Really? And we do. Uh, there is, uh, there's plenty of opportunity for capital to be raised. There are a number of companies looking to raise capital, but not right now. Mm -hmm. And that's because of all the concern in the environment, the geopolitical uncertainty, some of the economic uncertainty. But I would expect uh, in the new year that we see a return to the public markets uh, for a number of companies. And this happens. You know, the IPO market, it, it closes, it opens. Uh, and, and what would lead to that change? In terms of a reopening of the market? No, in, in terms of businesses actually thinking about IPOing. Oh, I think plenty of, of businesses are basically queuing up uh, and getting ready to IPO. Companies need capital. Uh, sometimes they will access it through the private markets. Sometimes they'll access it through the public markets. And that's continuing. It's continuing in the UK. It's continuing around the world. London Stock Exchange. In uh, recessionary time, I thought they would buckle up. It really depends on the business. I mean, if, if you take ELSEG, London Stock Exchange Group, we're doing relatively well during a period like this because of the nature of our business, where we are a leading data and analytics provider on a global basis. Yeah. Our, the markets need our data. The markets need access to our execution venues in equities, FX, and fixed income. Mm -hmm. uh, and they need access to our, our clearinghouse where we're helping them manage the risk on a global basis. So there are other companies like us uh, that are also uh, either doing relatively well in an environment like this or will be looking to continue growing and accessing capital. So. Right.